What's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Tesla, how it's had a crazy day already, and it's just starting the afternoon. We're going to talk about basically what's happening, what's going on with the market, and just the craziness that's just been unfolding. Now, before we start this video, I'd like to remind you, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for being here, and let's get right into this technical analysis. I know y'all have been waiting on it, especially if you're a Tesla fan. Now, today, if you've been watching the market any part of the day, you know what happened this morning. It got scary, guys. I'm not even going to joke around or anything. It got scary. It really did. Like We gapped down, and then bam, we hit lows of 620, and then we just snapped right back up. So the good thing about this, though, is that we snapped right back up. It could have gotten a lot uglier. We could have stayed down there. Now, I think I'm going to come out with a video later on talking about the overall market. So be on the lookout for that. Um, we're going to go over the overall market. But for right now, Tesla, we're going to talk about just what needs to happen for us to you know, be back on the bullish train for Tesla. And it's going to be a long way. It's going to be a long ride for sure. So right now we're at 685 at the time of this recording, down $29 today. We were down a lot. Guys, we were down a lot. Um, but overall, what we're working with now is what we got to focus on. So right now, 686, and then we're holding above this first purple line. So this purple line is at 684. Now that's the first step. This was just a support and resistance play. Now I have this blue zone out here for a reason. This is a zone that we need to get in and get above. So we have several layers here where I chart these zones out. So if you're new to my channel, I play these type of zone plays. I find them by looking at the supply and demand, support and resistance. It's a little combination, both of it. Either way, though, what needs to happen for me to feel comfortable with Tesla being bullish again, you might think I'm crazy, but it needs to get it back over here. It needs to get back above the 800s for us to hop back on this bullish train. Right now, what we're working with, though, is we're in a downtrend. It's apparent. I mean, big picture, of course, we're, we're still up. Big picture, we're still up amazing. But right now, what we're focused on, that's what you guys care about, we're in a downtrend. So you can literally draw a trend line right here. And then, oh, this more looks like this actually, <laughs> this is actually different because it's just straight down. But you get the picture, guys. You get the picture. Right now, we're in a downtrend just straight down literally down it won't know like easy going downtrend like this was over here or this it was just falling off the clip type down and those are the moves you have to worry about because that is panic based those type of moves are panic based they're not rational at all it's not controlled it's literally panic this right here is a controlled sell-off these right here are not that's panic now a positive thing though with Tesla is it shot right back up. It shot right back up and now we're trading above this line right here. Eight, 685, that's a support play over here previously. That's why I have it charted out. It acted as a resistance right here. We got rejected, we got rejected, and then we had to break out and confirm it from the bottom side. So that's why this, this level right here, I drew it out and I drew it out over here, right? And then it's played out over here. So Patterns typically repeat themselves, so if this pattern holds true, we should see a reversal here and we should push up. But you still have to keep in mind the bearish case that we're still in that downtrend and this could just be a relief from the overall downtrend. So you have to be very careful still, even though that green candle did show up, you have to be careful. Now, if you're long-term in Tesla, you probably are not worrying about this. In fact, you're probably happy that you're getting this amazing opportunity and it is amazing opportunity i mean we were hit we were hitting highs of almost 900 dollars. look where we're at now so it, it would be an absolute steal to get it right now but for those people that trade it and they got in maybe up here you're probably a little worried and that's understandable but my advice to you guys for the people holding tesla is you got to know your goals are you in this for the next five days a year two years three years so know your goals. If you're in it for the next year, do not even worry about this. Just get off your account. Don't even look at how much you're down, okay? Don't stress over this, guys. Tesla's still an amazing company, but what we need to focus on is starting to get that bullish momentum going. So we need to push up. Ultimately, what I would like is this type of action right here. Retest, bam. That's picture perfect. 
obviously best case scenario this happens right here this is the absolute bottom and then we start reversing but that's not how things always are you still have to be real with it and we could just keep falling easily back down to here now if we fail more which i hope we don't this pink line right here at six hundred dollars is a psychological level six hundred dollars is a psychological level that if we hit there we'll probably see some type of bounce we almost hit it there today but we did bounce there so hopefully six hundred dollars that six hundred dollar mark is the bottom and we don't go any lower than that i'm not saying that we will even get to it i'm just saying hopefully six hundred dollars is the bottom overall though i am liking that we are starting to see a recovery we are probably gonna have to see a recovery on the overall market as well so the s p 500 we're getting that recovery tag this green box shot right back up nasdaq something similar nasdaq tagged the top of my box and popped right back up so that's a positive note overall guys though i am on the bullish train with tesla i'm long term on tesla so i actually bought more shares on this dip i bought more shares and i'm just accumulating them every way down so right now i'm even ready on my open position but that doesn't matter to me because i know what my goals are i know that i'm going to be holding tesla for the long term so this is perfectly fine to me but for the people that are trading tesla i know there's some out there just watch these levels right here so your main goal by the end of the day is just to hold 685 if we hold 685 great that's positive but if we break it then i do not want us getting below 665 so the bottom level that you do not want breaking by the end of the day is 665 keep that in your head and just remember that and then obviously i will update you guys with a video tomorrow on what tesla is doing like i always do either way thank you for being here if you did enjoy this video hit the like button subscribe and i will see you all in the next video